Hi, I'm Liz from Lizzie the Stitcher. Welcome back for another floss tube full of cross stitch and goodies to show you. I hope everyone's well too. We're enjoying a really hot summer. Um, I've got the air conditioning going. I don't know if you can hear it, hopefully not. It's just not sleeping, bags under the eyes, too hot at night. But um, anyway, today I've got a different format. I've got, I'm going to show new starts and finishes. I've got FFOs mixed in, which are the fully finished objects. I've got my past Valentine's finishes to show you. I don't, I didn't stitch any Valentine's this year. Just wasn't in the mood for it. Um, and then after that, I'm going to pull out whatever whips I've got left. I've also got a bit of a Blackbird design segment at the end, although you'll see some Blackbird throughout. And then at the very end, if I have time, I've done some reorganization and then I'll give you a little life update right at the end, just for those that want to hear it, but my life's not that exciting, so um, <laughs> that'll be short and sweet. Um, so I'm just going to get started. I've got to follow my notes because I just cannot remember everything. So excuse me for looking down. Okay, Valentine's. Okay, I'm just going to go through these real quick. A lot of these were done on Ada or Lugana because I just wanted... Um, oh, cats are coming in. I just wanted quick finishes. I'm pretty sure all of these are DMC and I probably changed a few colours out here and there. But a lot of the stuff is stitching with the housewives. Um, that's she was one of the great designers that got me back into stitching. All these um, cute, fast little finishes that gave you that sense of accomplishment. So this was, and I don't remember all the names. Um, I'm not going to list them all, but hopefully you can see that that was a freebie that was inside one of her patterns. Like she had an extra bonus inside one of the charts. So it's a little cat. This one, oh, pink hearts on the back. I don't think I've shown you these. Um, this is just a little love cup from Stitching with the Housewives. I did a little pink Tilda old print on the back. I don't know where I'm going to put all these. Okay, this was a little series she did so cute i think i did these along with um this one's chalkboard ada the other one's black i was i ordered a piece of chalkboard to see what it was like it's quite nice um fat quarter shop were doing these a few years ago and i was just stitching along with them little truck cute little flowers little heart print on the back whoops Everything's going to fall down. Love jar. Super cute. I think the called for were fancy floss, but I wasn't even, I didn't even know you could get fancy floss here at that stage. This one, I might have to go. The door was banging. I'll be back. Okay, this one I think was, mm, oh, I can't remember the designer. It's so cute. Um, this one was a hands-on design. You've seen that around this year lots. Love you. Just on some pink Lugana. And this is probably a Stitching with the Housewives. 14th of February. The, I attached a little key to this one. And those I display in a crate with some paper straw. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I did put a magnet on to attach something, but it didn't really work with my finishes, so I took it off. <laughs> okay. This side I've got Be My Valentine. Pretty sure it's stitching with the housewives. I think I just used two different DMCs. Um, and the back's not actually finished. I've got a tape it on. I think I hot glue gunned that one in. <laughs> that was a um that was an op shop frame. I got two matching frames. I haven't filled the other one but um that was quite nice. 
this was an op shop frame as well that I spray painted white. Which way does it go? This way, and I think that was a heart in hand. Maybe, I can't remember. Super cute. That's on a brown Nagana, just with fabric and lace. This was a collector's one for heart in hand. I'm sure it was. Um, so I just did that on a piece of board with some fabric, lace, another piece of fabric, and I just hot glue gunned it. And I just stand that up against the wall. Really like that one. Just DMC. Pretty sure this is stitching with the housewives again. Love your latte. So cute. Okay, I'll keep going with the stitching with the housewives. Lots of love. These are bigger pillows. I think it's just all 14 count either. Love you to the moon and back. They look really good together. Um, this was the one that I had magnet, had a magnet to stick to the box. Stitching with the housewives be mine. That's on um, tea dyed Monaco. I think it's just 28 count. And that's just on a piece of foam core board. And then, I'm not sure, maybe hard in hand for these two little sweeties. Super cute. I think I showed you the drum from um, the tiny town, Bacarda tiny town. Love that. Um, that was the other part of the collector's one. I forget which year, probably 2021 or something. Um, that fabric came with the pattern and the beads came with it, I think. And then these are hands-on design, but I just changed the colours on these. Um, freebies on her website blog. And which way? Be mine. Just fabric on the back. Whoops. Just fabric. Um, these are Brenda Gervais. Love notes, I think it was. Um, I did change the red when it was an orangey color, and I changed one of the reds out to 347 DMC. And I did, um, I picked colors from the patterns and did their different cordings for each pillow. So that was one. That was Be Mine. These are just on um, vintage antique linen, I think, with DMC. XOXO. XO. Little hearts. And. Oh, my back stitch isn't good on that one. Love you a latte. <laughs> and then, I can't remember, whoops, I think this was a freebie from someone, but I can't remember who. It's just a little stocking, and I changed the colours, and I just put a pearl, um, mother of pearl button, and a shell button, and a piece of lace. And it's not actually, it doesn't open, it's just a fixed stocking with some pink on the back. And then this is the last one, whoops, which is um, Valentine Coffee Bird, hard in hand, I think, I can't remember. <laughs> and I just added some fabric and some like velvety ribbon to hang it up. And, oh, one, yeah, couple more things, couple more things. Um, I think this is Country Cottage Needleworks, one of the monthly 
one of the monthly ones and I did that so I can change out the months and it's just a wooden chopping board from a shop and then this was a I think this was a free free or paid pattern by Fat Quarter Shop um, with all the hearts um, with all the triangles to make the heart and then she did a tutorial for how to make the pillow so I got some fabric and made a little cushion and on the back I've just got homemade and then this big thing this honking big thing came out the wrong size I think I was sent the wrong size fabric so it ended up enormous but <laughs> um oh who's this by Artful offerings? Mm, can't remember. But I did use fancy floss on this one. So um, it's on pink or white splash Lugana with the it's got little pink splash spots on. I really like that. And that's just another cushion. And so one of the things I made, I think it was in December. Um, I had two large photo frames that were old and I was just playing around trying to make a display and I cut one down and the other one I kept as it was and I just made this kind of rusticky tacky looking <laughs> display stand. Um, I staple gunned some sort of ribbon so that I can peg where's my peg gone somewhere I've got a peg so I, oh there so I can peg things onto it and I just painted it real rough with white paint and I used some foam core board in the bottom with some scrapbooking paper on top and it was a little bit wobbly so I just had to add a piece of the frame to the back so that's you can see how tacky my painting job is at the back but oh knock myself out um so that's really cool because I can change out things in the display. So I'm really pleased with that. So I'm just going to go and put all the Valentine's stuff away and I'll come back. Right, got my coffee. I need it. Have you got yours? <laughs> oh, that's so good. Because I'm really good at spilling drinks. And I'm in my lounge because I forgot to say. So my neighbour is home with their little two-year-old boy and he's like being a bit noisy and I've got a builder over the back. I don't know what they're doing. They're forever building. It's like five years of wood and banging. It's only a small place. But anyway, try not to complain. And they're painting um, our road down, like the lines on the road down it's like we've only, this house is five years old and they've painted the lines three times. It's like, go fix the main roads. You can't even see where the lanes are on, when you're driving. It's like crazy. Anyway, ramble, ramble. Right, let's get to the good stuff. What have I been doing? Not a lot. <laughs> I've missed quite a lot of stitching. In fact, it's almost been zero stitching. Um... Technically, my book says I stitched because I would pick up a thing and I would use one thread and that would be it for the day. And at the moment with summer and the hot nights and the hot sticky fingers, I just don't feel like stitching. Um, so maybe getting half an hour at the moment, but I've had a lot of missed days. Um, it's been super busy. Um, but anyway, I will get on to showing you cross stitch. <laughs> Okay, so this one was a freebie by La Di Da, The Letters and Leaves. These are just sort of like, I call them my play pieces. I can just pick them up if I want to. Um, I'm just messing about with colours. So I've got Classic Colourworks Deep Blue Sea, Wavy Navy, and a piece of 30 Count Cocoa, and that's where I got up to and um, it's just an alphabet with the leaves on the other side repeated and the border to go around so 
just fun little thing I'm working on every now and then no deadline um, the that was uh, that was October that was that was all I did in October apart from what I showed you on the last video so I'm going in date order now so now we're up to um, no it's not that was a new start okay that was a new start so finishes for October I had one two three somehow I had four finishes and I may have shown them to you so the first one was a freebie by Blackbird Designs called Now I Know My ABCs. I did it on a piece of 36 count latte fibre on a whim and I just used a whole bunch of different blue threads. And it's a bit wrinkly because I am not ironing anything today. Sorry, iron's been moved out of my sewing room and I don't want to set it up. So <laughs> um, you'll have to put up with the wrinkles. So these will just be fun little pillows. And if you want to see my messy back, why not? It's a little bit straggly, this one. It's good to know how other people stitch, isn't it? <laughs> sometimes it's tidy and sometimes it's not. Um, my big finish was Plum Street this joyous season. Sorry for the shiny that big, big red building with all the snow. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> Somehow I did it. Well, this is all the, pretty sure this is all the called for. And there we go. Repeat the sounding joy. Just love it. I changed, the pattern has the Australian flag and I just had to do a little tweak to make it the New Zealand flag. I think they have one extra star. I hope that's right. <laughs> I should know my flag. And loved it. Looks fabulous. The only thing I didn't enjoy doing is like when you have to do all the little doodads. I'll call them doodads. But there you go. That's going to look amazing. So with all my big pieces I did last year, I haven't got them framed yet. I'm hoping to do that later on this year. I want to get them all together to see how they look together to decide you know, which wall I'm going to put them on and whether I frame them cohesively or not. So um, that's going to be a big thing later on. I'm not going to try and frame them myself because... Um, as I said, we've got big windows, sunlight fading, so I really would like to get the good glass to um, finish them off. Um, okay, next finish was a Christmas ornament swap that I did in the New Zealand Facebook group, New Zealand Cross Stitch, and it was, I did the, I have to find everything, I'm so sorry. It. There you go. So I've sent it off and my partner got it. I did Country Cottage Needleworks um, Gingerbread Village and I think I did it with the DMC. Can't remember now. And um, I'm pretty sure I've got photos of it so I will put them up here. There should be three photos showing the front and the back and um, the goodies that I sent with it was a tin, some DM, red DMCs, ribbons, and a couple of buttons. And I was quite nervous about doing that swap. Um, I haven't really done a cross stitch swap before. And the first pattern I picked was actually huge. So I changed it to this one. And once I'd stuffed it as a pillow ornament, it still ended up quite large and she went and she went and put it on a, um, a miniature Christmas tree. So she showed it with all the tiny little, it was Sarah, she showed it with all the tiny little ornaments that she had um, on the tree. And mine was like <laughs> hoppingly big. So that was a lesson for me to learn that, um, to try and think about the size of an ornament. And then if I can find the picture, I will try and put it in of the ornament that I got from I think it was Anne and it was really beautiful so I put that on my tree 
Um, and it's just nice to know that someone stitched something for you. So that was fun. So that was October. Okay, now we're on to November. And I started and finished at Quarter Shop Christmas Mystery Christmas Time from 2022. And um, I did it on 14 Count Rustico Ada with um, the called for Fancy Floss. I might have changed one of the greens out. Oh, and I did change the, it had mints, like mint lollies. And I changed them to kind of chocolate wrappers. So that's my fun finish for Christmas. Um, so these were the mints and I just, I used a couple of different golds. I can't remember what. Um, added a border, put a little backing on just for a fun squishy Christmas pillow. And my door banged again, sorry. Um, so that was that. Grab my coffee. I need it to stay awake. Okay, um, that was November. That was a start and a finish. And then my finishes for November were Strawberry Fields by Blackbird Designs. I did it on 32 count antique ivory linen and yesterday I finished, oh in the weekend sorry, I finished it um, into a project folder. Um, the blue isn't an exact match but um, I showed my husband and he said, you've cut out my work shirt. <laughs> Because he has a shirt <laughs> just like this. So I said, no dear, it's um, just fabric that looks like a man's shirt. <laughs> I really like it. I think it's by Thimble Blossom. Um, so that's my finish. And I know lots of people have been working on this last year. Oh, I can't remember everybody. I really should write things down. Um, and I think a few people are still, still plodding through it. Pretty sure I used all the cord for it, except for like the blue tin bucket I couldn't get. And I did use interfacing on the back of this because it's quite a large piece and I didn't want to quilt over it to stabilize it. So I just did quilting or stitch in the ditch around the edge to secure it. And that's the back and these ones I put the magnet on and the inside I didn't really think about it but I did pink and then realized that I had blue binding but um, I, was, I didn't have any strawberry fabric so this is based off the Ashley stitch case and this time I decided to do just another plain pocket on the opposite side just to try it because I haven't done one like that so now if I have a strawberry pattern or something that would look good in that I can put it in there so I'm really pleased with that. And so that was an FFO. Um, that one was stitched two over two, two threads over two threads. And the pattern was gifted to me. It was one of, it was like put at a retreat table and lots of people have stitched it and passed it on. So I've sent it off to, I think it was Andrea in our New Zealand Facebook group. And she'll be stitching it next and we've all signed the pattern with our name so um, it's nice to see that people can enjoy it and feel a bit connected um, then December came and okay so I have already done this stitch before on Ada the frame it got ruined in the move and when I pulled it out, it was all sticky. I don't know what the frame had done to it. I managed to pick up the pattern second hand because I'm pretty sure it's out of print. Marjolaine Baston um, called No Vacancy. Absolutely love her projects from back in the day. And on the back, you'll see, I just, my um, 
local shop used to have this one on the wall in a massive gold frame and it looked incredible and I always wanted to do that and then when I met my husband his mother was actually stitching it and she nearly finished it when we were living with her but I don't know what has happened to it it's probably gone to one of the daughters and this is the other one I like with the birds but um, I haven't done those ones look at them they're just so English and springy so um, that's the one that I started this time I used linen 35 count antique white I think which is the called for except that I'm using linen not Ada and I've made a start which is a bit of a small start Got my needle showing so I started in the center and it's not ironed. There's my start of the birdhouse. And my plan was to pick it up and do one thread before I work on another project. And I've only done that once. Um, the main reason is the chart folds open into a massive chart. So I need to um, sit there and scan it and make a working copy. And then it'll be a lot easier to handle. And the other one was a Blackbird Design. Right, Blackbird Designs, a oh, joyous day. And I know lots of people finished it last year and there's still some people working on it. One was Katie of So Tattered, I think. And there were a whole bunch and now I, see, I can't remember. I always think I'm gonna remember and then I don't. So I need to write people down when I watch Floss Tubes. Um, so, a joyous day, and I picked that up, and I'm using a piece of fabric I dyed myself with ripped dye, and that's probably the only flash floss toss you'll see me hold up, because <laughs> they're actually on floss drops that I got printed, except for the classic colour works, so those are the colours. So it's getting a bit straggly now and I've got that in a homemade bag I made with some old vintage Tilda. Um, these were actually big pillow shams and they weren't wearing too well so I pulled them apart and I turned it into a bag with some lace and a Lori Holt crochet. I did, look, I learnt how to crochet just to make that. I think that's about the extent of my crochet. And then it's not ironed, but there we go. That's my start on a joyous day. With all the called four threads, I wasn't going to do the satin stitches until the end, and then I thought I should. So I've done those. Um, I did put it in a hoop to do them. So let's see if it's going to focus. Uh, not some of them are a bit loosey goosey, but. I like those ones there, yeah, they're so pretty, that colour, is it showing? There you go, real pretty. So I think I still probably have to do the eyeballs of the birds and there might be another doodad, one of those little things, but yeah, I think I have to fill in the birds' eyeballs <laughs> and then I can work my way down onto the next part. So that's where I'm up to with that. Um, so that was December. I'm running out of time. I'm trying not to rush. Okay. Oh my gosh. December was busy. I have stuff everywhere. Okay, this is my little ongoing project. Prairie Schooler, <clears throat> excuse me, Old World Santas 2. I lost my coffee cup. <laughs> um, so, I, I've done one which I left in my sewing room. This was the next one. 
they are using I'm using two threads over two on 32 count vintage antique and so there's my little candy cane walking stick Santa I can't remember if I showed you him my next one isn't quite finished but pretty much um, what's he missing the gingerbread man up here because I've run out of that color DMC and every time I go to the shop they don't have it so um, that's that one and then I've started the I've started the tree one and I've just done his coat and part of the tree and these are really nice easy stitches so um just fun they are yeah so that's prairie centers oh and i changed one of the browns to more of a gold because i think that's the one i can't get because it was quite brown and i wanted it a little bit more brighter then I did a freebie which I forgot to take a photo and I sent it off to a friend, Elizabeth and Matter Matter. And it was just a little miniature holly from Threadwork Primitives, I think. And I just did a really skinny mini pillow with a little green hanger ribbon and two little green hearts, I think I put on two little miniature buttons. And it was just like a miniature ornament, which I should remember for Christmas swaps because it was real quick. It was just two colours, a red and a green for the holly. Um, so I can't show you that. And then I started and finished um, this one. Gathering Together Pin Keep by Scattered Seed Samplers. Um, I think this one's... 36 count vintage country mocha and DMC. So that's my finish there. That was another nice easy one to do. And totally enabled by Brenda and Laura. Brenda, she actually just showed it on her latest video, her shaker basket, do you call it? And it's stuffed full of all the pillows. So I just bought some of the more of the patterns to do um i have to be honest when i first saw this pattern i thought the bird was real ugly <laughs> but it has grown on me since i you know you keep seeing things sometimes they grow on you and now i just think he's the coolest funkiest bird um so i'm gonna work slowly away at those i might as well show you these now because these are the ones I've just bought. Um, this one's Little Pear Tree, which Brenda showed. And they're actually bigger than I thought. Um, I've seen everybody do this. So I finally got it. Definitely a must have. And the, again, these are just nice, easy stitches. They're, they're not too complicated I don't think there's any specialty stitches remember me because I love all the blue so um, beautiful and then out on a limb and there are others but um, that's all my budget could go to <laughs> okay um, we're working our way through okay um, I worked on, I won't, I'll show it soon, Blackbird Designs the Bird series. Um, I'll show you that. And I worked on the Blackbird Designs Garden Club pattern number five, which I'll just show you the pattern and then I'll explain what I'm doing soon. Number five, it's, whoop, that one there. And I'll come back to this because I've got some things to say about that. Um, 
so then we're heading into January and okay so a couple of years ago I did um, oh, Country Cottage Needleworks the Santa Village series it was one of the first things I kind of did in DMC I did it on um, it was 32 count platinum Bagana and it was my first finishing as a flat fold that I'd watched Stitching with the Housewives do a tutorial on their um, YouTube channel and I forgot to put the batting in so I ruined it so I had to do them all the same without batting and I didn't have the whole set I had done seven of them and my stitches are terrible because it was two threads over two and the fabric was real tight and I didn't realize that you could change things up and do maybe one thread over two so I forced myself to do them and I did buy I think most of the buttons from just another button company so um, these are my old so you can see my stitches are real bumpy and all over the place but just DMC and they look really cool um, when they're actually hanging on the wall you don't see the messy stitches um, so I have done these and someone in the New Zealand group wanted to do um, she wanted to buy me the rest of the patterns and so we did a pattern swap in the end so that I could finish the series because there were five more I think it was five more show you these and that's um, cookies <laughs> my favorite thing reindeer and gingerbread so I decided that I should stick with the same fabric which is a real nightmare to stitch and I thought I'll do one a month because on Instagram a lady her handle is caroling55 and she's doing she's all into Christmas and she's doing 12 and 24 ornament stitch along that's a hashtag 12 and 24 ornament stitch along so I thought yeah I'll do that and I thought I would do one of these a month and then I forgot how hard it was and that you put a hole in your finger every time because you're forcing the needle through the fabric so then I think I'll do one every two months for these and where's my little bag um, I'll just put these down so I've started the next one and I've taken working copies and sent my patterns all to my friend so that she can stitch them as well so I've gotten that far on the next one I think that's poinsettia where's the name I've got my working copy poinsettia place is this one so I'm still not finished and we're romping through February so I might just um for these ones just not give myself a deadline I can work on them it's just I've got to be in the zen you know to power through that and I really do want them done so I had contemplated restarting them all on a different linen but um oh, I've already done seven you know so anyway there's that um then a lovely lady sent me the she sent me a project bag oh my gosh look at that I should zip it up and a matching little thread bag so cute and and she sent me so kind Christmas ornament 2023 and I don't know if I can say her name because I didn't ask so but she knows who she is and um, so I 
got working straight away for my Christmas ornament so that I have lots of ornaments for next Christmas. And I did, let's see what page, I should have found the page. Um, actually, it's on the cover. This owl, I chose that one. And I did it on black 32 count linen with DMC. I think I changed the colours to something similar because I didn't have the call for. And I haven't quite finished it, if you fold it. But it's my little owl. I did it as a round, which is, you can see, not quite round. I did put batting in. That's my backing, which is a metallic. And <laughs> I've chosen 3346 um, DMC to do cording to make a hanger. So that will go, I think that will go quite nicely when I get time to do it. I have, didn't get time before the video, so um, super cute. I love it. And then I did actually start another pattern as a thank you gift. And that went into the bin because it didn't look good. And then I started a, another one on different fabric and different threads. And that one didn't go in the bin, but it, it didn't get finished because it didn't look good. So I'm back to square one. <laughs> so, but um, so kind. Thank you very much. Okay, and then February, we're into my whips, and I've only worked on which was the Oh Joyous Day by Blackbird Designs and Brenda, excuse me, Brenda Gervais Every Opening Flower which was a kit so it's all the called for. Pull it out of my bag which is my little sticky bag and there's the pattern. You've seen lots of people do it. Jessica Sweetwater Stitcher just finished it. And it looks incredible. I think Shelly and Tech Needleworkers was working on it. Lots and lots of people. And they're all onto the, was it the light of winter or something like that. Um, so I'm still working on this one. And these are my threads. And I'm having a little panic attack because I only have that much left of mountain mist which is one full strand plus one thread and I still have to do oh I might be all right I still have to do the bow which is in that color I just finished the um, little zigzag border last night and I've still got my thread hanging in there. And oh, Zeb, my friend Zeb's working on it as well, slowly. I think she did. Oh, that door keeps banging, sorry. Um, is that, oh, can I fit it in? There we go. So actually, oh no, I haven't finished it. So I have to go back down the other side. Um, I unpicked all that last night because I did it in the wrong place but I did reuse the threads because I knew I was pretty low on threads um, so that's where I'm at I'm so close to a finish I still have to fill in the window panes I've started them and then I have to do that big wreath and the honey hive and the bees and a couple more letters and a couple more flowers and the flowers that go inside there so I do have quite store quite a bit to go but um, so that's my every opening flower just put that back in the bag so I'll just keep working away on that I'm not stitching anything for Easter by the way um, okay, plan. I said so. We're into the next section. So plans. I listened to everybody's plans. Most people were happy to work on what they already had. 
um, I actually got overwhelmed listening to that and looked at my patterns that I'd bought last year and went, oh, because there's no way you can stitch them all and you want to stitch them all. And then someone shows it on floss tube and you're like, I've got that, I want to stitch on it. And then I started bouncing around. Anyway, um, I decided not to make any plans except for what I've already committed to. And my birthday's in June. So Stacy Nash is um, my favorite for this year, I think. I've been slowly getting some of her smalls patterns and um, I've decided to, in June, I will do at least one Stacy Nash small for my birthday. And then I asked um, Nerissa, Nerissa Stitching Lifestyle on YouTube. She had shown Stacy Nash pattern, so I asked if she wanted to join in. And she's either going to stitch a Stacy Nash small, or she has a couple of other favourites. So that's fine. Um, and there's no pressure. I'm just going to probably ask my local Kiwis if they want to stitch a small or a Stacy Nash in June. Um, that would just be nice. So I'm just going to reach over. And they're, they're not all kitted. And I do have some fabric on the way for one of them. So I'm going to have to probably pull them out of the bags. We'll see. So this is one I've got fabric coming for. And it's running with, oh, run with scissors. You should never, ever run with scissors. I had an accident in the holidays with some garden shears. I wasn't running. I was actually standing still, but managed to slice my toes <laughs> but I'm fine I'm fine I didn't need to go to the doctors or anything um so run with scissors that's the other side of it and I've ordered a piece of um lagoon fabric by fiber on a whim which is like a I think it's a light blue or a light tealy blue I'm not 100% sure and when it arrives and I see what colour it is, um, I will pick out a bluish, darkish thread to show up on it. And I think that will be real pretty. And um, Nicole Spore, is that how you say her name? She showed, I watched her video last night and she was showing it for, she's using it for one of the tiny towns, I think it was, and looked pretty. So that's that one. I could do that. I just, like, you literally need one colour thread and linen and some fabric. Easy. And it's not a lot of stitching either. Um, I think I've shown this to you before. This isn't a small. Um, I still haven't started it. Rabbit Hollow. I've got it all there to start. I just haven't started it. And um, I love that one. Um, come on, names. Silice Creates finished it or is working on the rabbit hollow. This one, I have the fabric, but not the threads. Oh, yes, I do have the threads. Oh, it's kitted. Okay, I've got one. The um, red work stitching pocket and chatelaine because it's got little smalls with it so um and i'll show you the threads on the back just a few threads not expensive so i went with the fancy floss and this fabric is um i've gone for 40 count parchment the called for i have no idea how i'm going to stitch on 40 count but might take a while but I'll get there. This is a Stacy Nash parade. Okay, this one I have fabric and not the threads. So feathered nest pin book. So pretty. Show you the back. It's a little needle book because I need more smalls because I've got no room to put pillows now. And this is on 32 count raw 
32 count rule, so I don't know if I'll do two over two or one thread over two. That's the color. So um, it just needs just a few threads. I just have to get the threads. So there's options. I don't know which one I'm going to work on. I haven't decided. This one's not kitted and it's a bit bigger. It's the Bees and Birds Sewing Roll, Sewing Roll Biscornu and Scissor Fob. And it's a bee theme, so super cute. And there's the back, the little smalls. Can you see that? Sorry about the glare, but there's so many things. I don't want to take them all out of the bags. This one's not kitted. It's Woolies Pin Keep. So cute. And again, it has three threads. Red, green, and cream. It's Old Red Paint, Straw Bonnet, and Chamomile by Gentle Art Threads. So, and you just need the fabric, which is 32 count Belfast linen charcoal grey. Um, easy peasy, just have to kit it up. This one, I don't have the fabric, but I have the threads, I think. Um, or almost all of them. Wonderful Life Pin Keep Drum. I've seen this a few times on Floss Tube. The back. And Crinkle Crinkle. I haven't put them on Floss Drops. I've just put them all together. Those are the colours. There's like a bluey. Um, that's more blue than it's showing. Nice rich colours. Oh, and red rocks is missing. So I need one thread for that. Hope you're not bored yet. <laughs> okay, this is the first one I ever bought. Stacy Nash Farmhouse Sampler Pin Keep. And it's kitted. So it's probably going to be the one that I'm going to do. And I love it for the bird on it in the little house. I think I might have shown you this before. It's like a little duck or a pheasant. And a little needle book and that little house there. So um, that's... There's a... Let's see. I'll just tip it out. Oh, it's on a floss drop. all the colors not too many colors I like that and then the fabric is um, tin roof by week so I decided to do the cold for nice and dirty looking <laughs> farmhousey not that I live in a farmhouse but <laughs> so that's that one and I'm pretty sure I can get all of the bits off the, um, like off one fat quarter of fabric. This one's not kitted, but it's just, I think this one just had DMC. Oh, it might have had one or two weeks dye works threads. It doesn't say on the back. Um, I'm Jane Lethargy Hoop and Thread Sewing Bag. And again, the blue's got me. Look at that. Just a simple, should be quick. There's not a lot of stitching. It's just an alphabet and a basket and a little border. So it shouldn't take long if I got it kitted. Okay, this one. <laughs> this one caused me a bit of grief. It's um, Summer Pomegranate Needlebook and Pin Keep. Again, I need to practice making needlebooks. And it looks like this part stitched and so the colors on it um, I had I had Ruby Slipper and Garden Gate by G 
gentle art and I didn't really want that brown in the um, in the leaves I think it's supposed to be in the leaves with green and so I was trying to come up with two different greens which I chose chamomile and endive by Google searching the colors and they looked different so I ordered them and then when I got them they were pretty much identical so I just went with the called for <laughs> chamomile garden gate and ruby slippers so um and I've got a piece of I think it's just coffee dyed I coffee dyed some fabric so um that one shouldn't take too long it's only three threads and a little bit of stitching and a little bit of ify sewing then my last one oh got all the threads but I haven't haven't made them all beautiful pretty colors um, these are for the carrot the velvet carrot needle book and um, it's on supposed to be on 40 count seraphim linen old stationery and I don't have any like 40 count in my stash so um, and I will just have to find some fabric because if I make it 36 count it's gonna be a humongous carrot um, so I'll probably attempt a, a 40 count linen but I'll have to find I'll probably I don't know find something so that's my Stacy Nash section and so I saw the Nashville Needlework Market um, she's bringing out three little animal crackers I have not done any of the other ones although I've always admired them so I've pre-ordered them and I will get them and um, they look adorable um, let's see blackbird designs okay this is my blackbird Designs segment so I've been invited to do a round robin with some Kiwis Zeb Alex and Haley and we're doing the garden club series and we've already started that's the um, the one I showed earlier all these I forget how many there are quite a few <laughs> is it 12 yeah 12 and originally I was going to do them all as pillows I ordered all the called for fabric I have some of the threads enough to start stitched my first one so we're going we're choosing our own linen then we're posting it off and it was going to be a mystery so I don't know what they're going to which pattern they're going to stitch for me so I just sent all my fabrics off and they can choose the pattern and stitch it and then it will go around the little group and it will come back to me with three others having stitched one of the garden clubs for me and they're going to put their initials on I hope and I've got to remember to do that for theirs um, but I just chose the called for and my first one I started with was the number five called butterfly garden on the called for which is 32 count parchment and that one is is it cocoa Straw. So this is the bottom half with some over one stitching which I didn't realize it had and I've put Bay of Plenty as my home so I've adapted it for my where I live and I'm doing two threads over two and this is the other part the butterfly all the called for threads really pretty so I'm committed to that and we're doing one every two months so the first rounds out the way I've just posted off the next one and I'm waiting for 
their parcel to arrive to me so I can start it and I have two months to stitch one which should be plenty of time <laughs> so I'm very excited about that um, so I was going to do them as pillows now I'm not sure whether to do the four from the round robin as pillows and then the rest frame them as one piece like stitch them all together or frame the four and do the rest as pillows because they're quite chunky looking I thought they were going to be a bit smaller but they're a reasonable size so won't decide till the end on that one and so that was the garden club and then Bonnie Hutchison who is in the Facebook group fans of Blackbird Designs she sent out an invite to those in the group um, she was starting the Christmas garden stitch along um, Christmas garden piece from Home for the Holiday Books this was a purchase I made in December from New Zealand I asked for them to put it in cardboard which they did but it came completely bent with marks inside not too happy um, it's pretty busted um, but it's just a book and the pattern's readable and it wasn't worth my time to send it back and argue so it was probably in the shop on display for quite a while and lots of people looking at it so um, at least I've got it try not to be too fussy okay so the Bonnie is doing the Christmas garden is that what it's called Christmas garden yes so lots and lots of people have seen that if you love blackbird designs you've seen it all over the place lots of people have it on their wall displayed all year long and um, she was inviting us to go into a group called on Facebook called the Christmas Garden SAL dash ongoing and quite a few people have jumped in to start this or continue it if they had it as a whip. Um, I think I saw about a hundred people or so jump into the group and um, so including a few Kiwis so um, I decided to do it and Zeb who is our administrator in the group in New Zealand she has invited New Zealanders to do a leap leap year day leap day year leap leap year start and um, everyone's choosing these massive projects and they have four years to finish it and I was like I, there were some patterns I liked but I would just want to stitch them straight away this one I think I could drag out a little bit it's not I mean it's big but it's not big like there's a lot of space around it and there's lots of motifs you can work on so and I think I could break it up into chunks per year um, so it might be my slow stitch maybe one month a year I don't know um, just an idea so I thought I would jump in and do that and so my threads are on order coming slowly by boat probably and I've chosen to stitch it on 36 count cream and sugar by fiber on a whim which lots of people have had this before and I've never seen it or had it so it's quite creamy with hints of green in it I don't know why cream or sugar would have green in it unless it's moldy but um, I've never seen green cream or green sugar except for sugar cane so I'm guessing that's where the green comes into it it's not it's kind of like an apple green I'm trying to see you see it's just like a hint of green kind of look maybe it looks brown but it's just it's only a hint but it's really pretty so I think I'm gonna do that on that since it is Christmas and there is green in it <laughs> um, so I chose the core for threads because at Christmas I had ordered Blackbird Designs crowning the tree stocking which I'm going to pull this one out to show you 
and it had some of the threads in it, the same colours. That one there, I ordered the threads. I haven't chosen my fabric yet. But the threads, um, one of the threads in the other one was Calico Kitty, like classic colourworks. And oh, I think there was another one. Oh, Fool's Gold, which is, a lot of people don't like it, but I like it. It's, um, it's got gold and brown. So I've ordered the threads and I'm hoping when they arrive, they look like this and I um, am probably going to add wood trail. Is that Gentle Arts or Week Style Works? I can't remember but I'm gonna because the gold for the I think it's Heirloom Gold is in the Christmas Garden it's quite um, it's quite dark when you look at the picture of the actual Christmas garden. So just to see, it looks a lot lighter in the picture. Like it's, the gold, that looks brown to me. And it's charted for that gold, I think. I think, unless I've made a mistake. So um, I'm gonna use the wood trail for maybe some of the pots and the deer but I'll decide when it comes so if you want to join that's the place to go so that's my little collection of blackbird designs growing slowly I will never run out of anything to stitch and so that's um, yeah, Gentle Art Wood Trail, I've written down. And then I've got my Blackbird Designs Bird Series, which I just wrecked over here. This is on, I'm doing these all together on a, sorry, piece of fabric I have dyed. And I finished the first one and I started the next one. And I was going to do one a month, two ambitious, so maybe one every two months. And if I can't do that, then one every three months. So this is where I'm at. Sorry, it's not ironed. Um, so there's my big pigeon, which I haven't done. I think there's some um, lazy daisies. I'm not going to do them till the end. But I've done the peacock, most of the house, the basket, the tree. So I just have to finish the windows and the borders and let me try and show you together so there's quite a bit still to go on those trees and the bird on the top the giant bird on the roof which um tiger lily designs carrie parrot carrie she likes giant birds <laughs> that are out of scale <laughs> so um progress on that I need to pick it up again right so this was out of the blackbird designs sewing club book and I had stitched that and so my dad made me this box I just um, I have this jumbo bead so I actually super glued it on the front so I can open the drawer so um, I painted the box our favorite yellow color that one has my, oh, that one has E for me on it, Elizabeth. And then I made the little companion with my mum's initials. And I just used um, walnut shells, so it's real chunky and squishy. So that was a FFO. So I just wrapped it on some, um, what do you call that? Not sticky board, mat board. And I think I used a piece of batting because it's got a bit of, bit of squishy, but I like that. So that was an FFO. One other thing that happened was I was stitching for Cat of Cat Stitch on YouTube. She had sent round and I was invited again to stitch on. She was um, had the pattern by Heartstring Samplery 
I belong to the Floss Tube Nation in which she wanted us all to stitch one of the characters and she wanted us to um, kind of have it resemble each person that was stitching it and we put our names underneath it and um, so I did finish that but she got that back and it's on her last floss tube so and along with a big haul which I still have to go back and watch um, but she's so lovely and so um, I was really grateful to be a part of that and one more FFO was honeybee oh what's it called honeybee sampling by Little House Needleworks or Country Cottage Needleworks I forgot to pull the pattern out um, I did change some of the threads and I turned it into a project bag so I added some yellow rickrack I didn't really have any bee fabric um, this I had the bundle for the tiny town honey town but I never did end up buying it so um, I just repurposed it for that and I keep and did a magnet and I did the same same thing as the other bag whoops I did two pockets and this one's got my primrose cottage stitches be Quaker and there's another one in there somewhere what's in a bag yeah, primrose got my primrose bee ones in there with my messy floss <laughs> my messy DMC so, um, really happy with that so just some other finishing ideas for you and then let's see organization okay I'll just be real quick I ran out of room in my sewing room I literally filled it up and I couldn't fit anything else in there um, I've inherited my dad's giant kind of lazy boy chair kind of thing it's a stressless chair with a footstool so my ironing board had to leave the room because the chair literally doesn't fit anywhere in our house um, so I've made it my stitching chair but it's too hot in there for summer so I will stitch in there in winter because um, it's next to the table and I can put my stuff there um, so I've been reorganizing things Seb suggested there's a thing called Notion which is kind of like a customizable website database thing instead of writing everything by hand so I've actually followed all the tutorials and created my listed all my patterns I own on there you can do you can do automatic counting your whips um, it has a shopping list because there's a template you can buy from stitchy natty it's fantastic um, it is a bit of data entry which I like um, you can add pictures you can add the floss I've added um, I've added the floss databases I've added DMC Weeks Tie Works and Gentle Art I think I'm not tracking my DMC but the list is there to show you can put in where your DMC is what project it's with so you just go to this one website and you can search for it and find where your floss is which is amazing when you want to floss um, and you can track what floss you have in your stash you can track fabrics in your stash it's pretty amazing bit of effort to set it up and learn it especially since I'm not tech techy but there's a there's some YouTube tutorials explained everything um, Seb did a zoom night so she we jumped on and she went over everything which was great so I'm using it and it seems to be working there's a few fine things I have to fix or decide whether I want to keep them in there because it's again completely customizable I think there is even a stitch count tracker I'm not doing that um, it's it's pretty cool so um, that um, is helping me organize my projects I can go to on my phone when I'm out and see what I need to buy with the shopping list which is really neat um, what else about it um, up till now I've kept a 
paper record of all my finishes with a photo in a binder and then I had two binders and now I'm onto my third binder and I have no room so I like to flick through if I want to but technically I only flick through once a year so what's the point in having it there when you can have it digitally um, I had the document saved on my computer I just had to put the photo with the document so I have made sure that that's all done and I've gotten rid of my three folders that had just a whole bunch of paper and photos in so um, that has given me back some room I've changed the way I stored my patterns I was sort of keeping half kitted things in a project bag which takes up lots of room so I've now taken them out and put them in um, pretty Ziploc bags and um, they fit in a magazine file which I've got like, like this I've got to find a pretty label for the front but um, so I've got my Ziploc bags and I'm just going to sort them by designer I think because I don't have too many I don't have hundreds and hundreds of patterns and then I've got all my empty project bags in one basket so that I can pull it out when I want to choose a bag so that has saved um, quite a lot of room I already hang up my spare threads which aren't many it's two or three little ring fulls um, so that's taken up a bit of time um, what else have I done? Whoops, I haven't shown you my whoops. Okay, oh, and purchases. It's gonna be a long one, guys. Everybody else did this for Valentine's, so I bought the pattern. My Dear Hearts, Blackbird Designs, with that heart that you've been seeing everywhere. Not kitted, but I've got the pattern. I'm going to whiz through these because you'll be wanting to get onto the next floss tube. Blackbird Designs, Merry December Stocking. I wasn't going to buy these, but now I am. <laughs> this, I think there's three in this. Um, the other one I bought was the book, The Bells, of, on Christmas Day. Super cute. And there's another one on the back. I'm sure you've all seen this. And then I really liked this one a lot. Feliz Navidad. I think that's how you say it. And just all the pretty colours. So um, not kitted. Those were purchases. Okay, whoops. I'm oh, gonna whiz through. This is a long-term project. Welcome spring. By Brenda Duvet, love it. 40 counts, it's a bit slow. I did finish an egg. So I got an egg done. So I've made progress. <laughs> I have quite a bit to go, but little by little. So that's in my whip basket. What's this one? Oh, Plum Street. Actually, I'll look at these, that one. Come back to that one. Plum Street. This is the day. I did make a start. Can't remember if I showed you this. Actually, I probably did, and I haven't done anything since then. So I've still got these to do. Definitely want to do it. Just have to fit it in somehow. Um... This is Plum Street, this I know. I did do a bit on this, but I was having a hard time. Um, it's on, I think I chose flax, 35 count flax. Um, I think I was just tired. So Plum Street, this I know, and I've done some of the work. So I was actually having trouble seeing it, I think, counting from the sheep because they kind of blend in until I get the green in. So I decided to jump up and I just haven't picked it up since. So that's that one. And then I did start 
Summer Moon and I was really enjoying that and then I stopped so I want to get the Plum Street Winter Moon but I'm not buying it until I get one of these done so Summer Moon beautiful another big red building I think this is all the cord for and I did get a big chunk done it's not ironed, sorry. So much to catch up on. There we go. So I got the um, the stars done, the rabbit, the little flowers, and started on the building. And I haven't filled in behind the stars yet, but um, that's where I got up to. So I've still got quite a bit of the building to go. It's a big building. They're big pieces, <laughs> but I will get there. Oops, three tanning. That's all the, I think that's the called for that one. Called for fabric and threads. And I think that was it. Okay, right. So life is slowly getting back into normal and here's my life update. So um, I hope you enjoyed my cross stitch. It's a bit of a, it's always a bit of a rough um, floss tube. I'm never quite organized enough like the professionals. Um, so after my last floss tube, I say, so I'll just give you a pre-warning. The next bit of news isn't nice news. So um, I don't want to upset anyone if you're going through something difficult. So if you want to come back next time, I will see you then. Um, if you want to stay in here, you can hear. I don't really want to end on a sad note.